Yes, friends. Uh, we will take up one example uh, for demonstration of the array. Okay. Let us try to write a program to calculate the total marks, percentage, and the grade of a student. Suppose in a particular examination, a student might uh, might have appeared for an examination, and the student might be having a different uh, number of subjects. It could be five, it could be six, or even it could be a three. Okay. Based upon that particular number of the subjects, we will try to write the program, and the program will read the number of subjects and the marks obtained, and then it will calculate uh, the total marks obtained by that particular student and the percentage and the grade. Grade is something uh, we will try to display the message saying a uh, distinction if it is uh, 70 or 70 plus. If it is a uh, 60 or a 60 plus, then it would be first class. Similarly, 50 plus, it will be second class. And a past class, if the total uh, percentage is uh, 40 plus. And if a student has failed, failed in the sense in any one of the subject, if any one of the subject a student has scored less than 40, okay, then it would be fail. Okay. Uh, remember that if a student, there could be chances like this. A scenario could be what? Uh, there are five subjects and a student has scored uh, 80, 90, 100. Okay. It means past class. A student would have passed in uh, four subjects but failed in one particular subject then overall grade will be failed. According to that, we are going to write a program here. So let us declare certain variables. Uh, we would be requiring an uh, integer variable i for for loop. Okay. Then we require a number of marks, that is, sorry, number of subjects. Let us make it as an n. Okay. Then we will be interested in a total, that is uh, calculating the total marks. So have it total. Okay. As of now, these uh, variables are enough. If it is required, then we can take up. Okay, uh, we may require one for the grade. Let us have that grade also. Okay, and we require, uh, we need to calculate the average. So average, let us make it as a float, uh, A, V, G. Okay, then let us have one uh, Boolean uh, variable. Probably you might have heard using a, something a flag variable in the previous semester in studying the different programming. You might have used it as an integer variable, say a flag equals to one or a flag equals to zero. Okay, let us try to use a more appropriate data type for the flag of a boolean. Say bool flag. Okay, let me initially update it with the true value. So what this indicates that I'm just uh, assuming that student is pass, student has passed in all the subjects. Okay, that is my assumption. If not so, we will try to handle that scenario. Okay, now just see observe here. So far, I have not declared the array here. Okay, let us see uh, how when I'm going to uh, declare the array. Now, basically, I want to create the array based upon the number of subjects of the student. It could be Three, it could be four, it could be five, or it could be one six. Based upon the user value, was the user enters based upon that, I'm going to calculate or I'm going to create the array. Okay. So first of all, just go ahead and display a statement that we will ask user to enter the uh, number of subjects. So console dot write line enter the number of sorry the number of subjects. Okay. Then. Let us read that value since it is an it's going to be integer so uh, n is equals to int dot parse okay console dot console dot read line so the if a user enters a four as a subjects n will be storing a four okay based upon the user value n will be created now based upon this n value we will create okay the array Okay, so int array of single dimension by the name marks equals to okay, then new data type is int, then the size, the size will be what a user has entered. So it is an n here. So based upon the user value, what the, has entered, based upon the number of subjects he has entered, so the array will be created with the same size. Okay, fine. Now, let us ask user to enter the marks of this um, marks of what the student has uh, secured or obtained. So, this is message console dot line 
enter the marks that is be more appropriate enter that particular number of marks enter placeholder zero okay uh, enter the subjects marks table code complete and comma so it will be n so how this particular statement will be executed enter the there is one placeholder this placeholder is zero zero means the first instance of the variable declaration so the n so based upon the n value that n will be substituted at this particular placeholder suppose if in the five then enter the five subjects marks if it is a four enter the four subjects marks okay then to repeat through this uh, read line statements at the state of loop for i equals to zero i less than n in this case we know the value of the n then i plus plus since i need to read the integer values so and store it in the array so marks of i equals to convert it into the integer that using int parse and the parse method will take the console dot read line console console dot read line okay. let us be uh, more smart here while reading the values we will try to find out the calc total as well as if the particular subject is a pass or a fail okay so what i will do here is that i will write a few more steps over here so the first step is going to be what for the first iteration the first marks i will read at the same time i will try to check whether First, I will calculate the total. Okay, so total equals to total plus the marks of the first value what I have entered. So it is going to be i. No, so I'm calculating the total here. Okay, but here this total, okay, I have not initialized with any value. Okay, it will be a garbage place. So let us initialize total with a zero value okay so then next next at the same time i want to check whether the marks whatever i have entered is it a pass or a fail how i can get to know by writing a if statement if the marks of that specific subject that is i if it is less than 40 okay the restriction i'm putting it is for the 40 if it is a 40 so the my basic the assumption what I have made in the beginning that is I said that the student is passing all the subjects okay if any of the mass is less than 40 means the student is failed that is my assumption will be wrong so in order to handle that one I will make or I will re-update the flag value to a false saying that I say that if student entered mass is not the passing mass then the flag will be set to a false value okay so you may notice here what what are the things i have done at the time of the reading the values i'm reading the not only reading the values at the time at the same time i'm calculating the total and also i'm checking whether that corresponding marks is a passing mass or a failing mass if it is a passing mass then definitely mass would be greater than zero sorry greater than 40 or equal to 40 so this particular condition would become false so the flag would never update it to a false value it would be always true itself Okay, now calculate, let us, uh, already we have calculated, calculated the total, let us calculate the percentage. So percentage is equals to total divided by n. Now you may notice here is that the percentage is a float, we need a value in terms of floating point. So let us make then uh, explicit conversion here just by writing within the pair of parentheses a float what it will do is that the total since total is an integer value n is an integer value but we want the values to be written in the percentage that is in the floating point value and also you may see that the percentage is okay the variable is not percentage it is an average let me change it back here to a pr okay so the percentage is what a float so we are converting into a float value Okay, now the total is calculated, percent is, is calculated. Now we need to go forward calculating the or identifying the grade of a student. So this grade of the student, how we are going to handle, suppose if it is uh, 
if the student is failed in any one subject, even the total percentage is say 80%, then also the grade is going to be a fail. It is not going to be a, a distinction. Okay? So basically we need to have a if statement here. If student is pass in all the subjects, how I can have if flag. Okay, now understand this one. If flag means the flag value, if it is true, if condition will be true and we'll enter into a true block. If the flag is false, when this flag will become false, any one of the subject is a false. Means if any one subject is less than 40, then uh, if the student has not scored a passing subject mass, then obviously flag will be false value. Then we will be entering into the else block, that is else. So we know what has to be done in the else block. If a student has failed in any one of the subject, we just straight away we are going to display a statement that student uh, grade is fail. Okay. So here uh, grade is fail. Right. So based upon the flag value, let me repeat it once again. Okay. Now initially I have set the flag to be true. Assumption is that assuming that a student has scored or student has scored passing marks in all subjects. Okay, this is my assumption. In order to check my assumption, I have to check each mass what a student has entered. So these are the code segment, right? Where I'm entering the student mass or reading the student mass. If the particular mass entered is less than 40, means my assumption is wrong. So I have to update the flag to a false value. Okay, now if the flag is having a false value, then definitely the block it enters is the else block where I need to display a message that student, that is grade is a fail. If not, means if the student has passed in all the subjects, then this flag would never get updated to a false value. It will remain as a true value. So the condition here, if flag, this will get entered into the true block. Okay, so now I need to write a statement related to here. Now, if a student is passed and he has scored different grades, grades could be a pass grade, passing class or it could be a first second class first class or a distinction okay in order to handle this one i need to go for a switch statement right i need to go for a switch statement say switch switch to a to a particular value a condition i need to check put over here the condition what i will do is here that uh, based upon the average okay let us declare one variable. I think I have already declared a grade variable here. Yes, grade is already there. So grade equals to, okay, the percentage which I have calculated, that percentage I will divide it by a 10 value. Okay, I will divide it by a 10 value and I will make it to be an integer. Okay, you may notice here why this is an integer. I because, let me just uncomment for some time. Okay, now, say assume that the percentage would have been calculated here, say for the example, the percentage is 66.5, assume 66.5, that is a floating point number. Okay, if the mass R, if the percentage is 60 plus and lies within 70, then it is going to be a first class. So what I will do is that I will divide this again, this 66 0.5 by a 10, I will divide it by a 10. So what I will get the value 6.65. In this number 6.65, I am only interested in six years. If I can write, have a six year, so according to that, I can write the case statement that would be easy to write. Okay, so in order to handle that one, I'm writing PER divided by 10. Okay, then I'm converting that value into an integer value because I want to handle in a switch statement. Okay, now remove these things. This is not required. Okay. Switch to grade. So whatever the grade is calculated here, then let's have the different cases. We know that 
uh, let me go in a reverse order here. Okay. Uh, if the case, if the grade is say four, means if the student has scored between 40 percentage up to 49.9999, okay, then the case four will be entered. Okay, so here I'm going to display a statement console dot right line grade within the brackets. Sorry, the double quote grade equals to let me write in a caps grade is pass class. Okay, then break. Okay. Then if it is not the four, if it is something say five, then what has to be done? So that has to be handled case five equals to console dot right line okay within the code grade is second rank. similarly if the case is say six that is a first class then let me copy down this particular line and put it here the change would be only the first class what if, if this grade is not a six five four it could be ten also it could be eight nine seven right for the other values that is ten nine eight seven the grade is going to be a distinction so in order to hand that one i will write case ten okay then immediately case nine then case eight then case seven for each of these cases the grade is going to be a distinction itself distinction itself okay so i'm handling all these if the grade belongs to any one of these seven to ten that seven to ten means what if the percentage is 70 plus 70 or any greater value than 70 greater than the greater than 70 so the grade is going to be distinction if it is not so if the grade is doesn't hand uh, fall between 70 to 10 that is 70 percent to 100 then we will check the next value that is for the 60 60 means 6 here so it would be first class then it would be a second class and the last one is pass class the code you may see here is that the this particular section the switch block will only enter the code will only go through this particular execution when the flag is true true in the sense if the student has passed in all the subjects otherwise no. let us go ahead and execute the program and check the working of it enter the number of subjects uh, let me take it here five this time okay now i will show you through the negative that is the fail here say uh, he could have taken the first subject as 100 marks second subject could be 100 marks say the third subject he has failed he has only secured 30 marks fourth subject again 100 marks and the fifth subject again 100 marks you may say here four subjects are 100 out of what he has scored but one subject he has failed obviously the result should be what result that is grade should be fail even though we are going to calculate total and percentage but the grade is going to be a fail grade here see here grade is fail okay by the way i did not write the statements to display total and percentage let me uh, write on those things here uh, yes here. console dot right line total marks obtained equals to let me have a colon that is uh, placeholder zero double code complete and then total same way i will have one more it is for the percentage percentage obtained is going to be pr okay fine run the program once again enter the number of subjects let me go with the four value here so first subject is 400 second subject is 90 fourth subject is 95 but the sub sub the fourth subject 90 then say 35 so what has happened here he has passed in the three subjects out of four but one subject is a fail 
even though the total is 320 and the percentage is 80 but the grade is going to be a fail grade now let us check the with the another case here say five subjects he could have uh, passed in all the subjects say 56 76 say 45 87 then 58 okay the total is calculated percentage 64.4 and the grade is first class why the grade is first class because it is it falls between 60 to 69.99 that is less than 70 60 less than 70 so the first class so few things uh, you may just notice here is that the calculation of the total and the checking the marks whether the pass or fail you might have written the programs similar programs in the different programming languages with the different logics where in order to calculate the total you, might, you could have run through a, another for loop okay or in order to check whether the marks is pass or a fail you could have written a, a logical and statement each and every subject you will check whether it is less than or instead of that one i preferred writing the program in this method okay i hope this particular logic is uh, easy to remember or else you can uh, easy to uh, remember also easy to understand as soon as we read the values here calculate the total because no need to run for the another for loop just to calculate total and at the same time we check the marks of that particular subject if it is a, a passing mass or a fail mass if it is a fail mass directly we go ahead and make it as a fail or else if it is a pass then go ahead and calculate the grade Okay. I hope the program is understood students. If there are any doubts, uh, please put, uh, please, uh, please mention the uh, doubts or the questions in the comments box of the YouTube video. Thank you students.